Prime Minister, thank you very much for answering our questions. Um, the Social Democrat model has been to expand social security and welfare stair for quite a long time. Uh, you have reached a level of taxation which is very high in Sweden, so you cannot expand it very much from now on. Where are you going from there? Well, actually, the uh, Conservative government we had 2006 until 2014 reduced Swedish taxes quite a lot, and particularly the capital taxes that are now uh, low in Sweden compared to many other European countries. So there is definitely a potential to increase the uh, taxation on, on capital and capital gains in Sweden. This is also something that we proposed during the election campaign. But it's always important uh, when you have an economic policy is to make sure that uh, the taxes you collect, that you use them in the correct, in the best way and also have, always have to rethink the reforms in order to make them fit into a, budget, a responsible budgetary policy. Thank you. Uh, you have lost that election. The Social Democrat Party has gained uh, voices and gained percentage, but uh, there has been a shift in the conservative parties which have aligned with far-right movements to gain power. What is your take on this? And this is a thread that we, we see coming elsewhere in Europe. Yeah. No, I mean, the fact is we did a good election and we increased uh, uh, the votes to percentage point. We have over 30% in national election, but we will also be running more municipalities and regions due to good election results. But we lost power on, on national level and it was the choice of uh, both the Conservative Party, the Christian Democratic and also the well, Liberal Party uh, to work with this uh, Sweden Democrats that is founded by Swedish neo-Nazis rather than cooperate with, with us. And of course we have, to, uh, uh, we have to go back and rethink how can we get more of those people that voted for the Sweden Democrats. Many of them are blue color workers that could vote for us. How we can uh, make them uh, vote for us again. And I think the most important issue there is to present uh, better policies that answers to the problems that they have in their everyday life, but also provide hope for a more prosperous future. After the fall of the wall, uh, Sweden has remained neutral for quite a long time. The invasion of Ukraine by Russia has pushed you and Finland to uh, reach towards NATO. How much do you think the situation has changed for the year, from the era we know, we used to know? We live in a completely new world. Uh, I mean, we have seen a deteriorating security situation in uh, in Europe and particularly in the Baltic region uh, for several years, where well, Russia has uh, increased their military spending and been more active, and also after the annexation of Crimea. But with this full-scale invasion, we are in a completely different world, and we have to rethink. And Europe, we have been able to rethink. I mean, with the sanctions against Russia, this is something we've never thought about before. With all the support to Ukraine, both financially and humanitarian, but also all the military support uh, and the unity we have shown around that is so important. But of course, also for Sweden and Finland, it has made us rethink our uh, uh, security situation and uh, uh, made us draw the conclusion that the membership of NATO is the right way forward. Prime Minister, thank you very much. Thank you very much.